let's start with the Beckman's uh, rearrangement, which is a part of aldehyde and ketone. So, oxymes R C double bond N O H. This is what we call ox oxime when treated with acid like H plus, P C L five, S O C L two, S O three, P two O five, or A L C L three, Lewis acid, or F E C L three, or S N C L four. It will undergo the Beckman's rearrangement. In Beckman's rearrangement, both oxymes, whether it is syn or anti, will convert to amide. The most important thing is that, uh, like bayer blazer oxidation, the, there is a migration tendency, aptitude of uh, other, other different type of group. In this case, Beckman's rearrangement, the migration tendency is not based on type of group or the plus i effect of the group but mainly depend upon the group which are present anti to OH group. See this is OH, anti position there is a R dash so R dash will migrate. Similarly this is OH, anti position R so R will migrate irrespective of their migration tendency. Any group which is present opposite to hydroxy group will migrate in Beckman's rearrangement. Now let's see the mechanism of Beckman's rearrangement in brief. So this is an NT group. First of all, H plus is treated with the hydroxy group. OH2 will form. Both the electrons are taken by the oxygen. So we will get N plus. So the product form N plus is like this R double bond N. There is a lone pair having plus charge. Now OH and R. There is a simultaneous migration. This OH will leave and this R will migrate. To explain you in clearly, I have generated a positive charge, but this migration is simultaneously. So both the electron are accepted by this oxygen and this R dash is migrated. The OH group anti position will migrate, generate positive charge at carbon. Now water give OH to this carbon cation, you will get an enol form which tautomerized to give you amide. So this is the basic mechanism of Beckman's rearrangement. Let's take one few example. This is a very good example of a six member ring when treated with the H plus will give you captolactam the same mechanism this H plus will attack to the hydroxy group. You will get N positive double bond. This is a six member ring. Now this positive charge both the electron are accepted by this hydrogen this carbon you will get N positive double bond. This is a negative, this is a positive charge, this negative will approach to this N, this positive will remain as it is, you will get a six member ring like this, this is a positive, sorry the six member, this is already six member ring, you will get a seven member ring. Now this positive, the OH minus from water attack to this position, this positive, you will get a enol tautomerized to give you ketone. So this is a very good example of Beckman's rearrangement. Now let's take, uh, take one more example of Beckman. There is a ketonic group treated with NH2OH. See, if such ketonic group is treated with NaOH, you, you can easily find that at the very first step of this reaction, you will get double bond NOH, CH3. Now in such case, you don't know the hydroxy group NT position, whether there is a phenyl or methyl. So when such type of question are asked migrate based on the migration tendency not according to the anti position because you don't know which group is anti to the hydroxy group so i will form i will migrate phenyl group so that will be like this so this will be the final product it's clear to all so this is all about backman statement watch another video of next name reaction thank you